Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee to Hotel. During this pandemic lockdown, we all got more time for our laboratory works in our shacks. So did I. Before going anywhere with my radio van, I took my time to improve my field power supply arrangements in building three battery packs designed for field work and based on lithium ion cells. The need came from my own experience in using a wonderful radio Elecraft KX2. When you buy it new, you only get one battery pack installed within the equipment. It's okay, but still, it's not enough. So, I decided to make my own battery packs based on lithium ion cells. They need a special battery management system based on PCB and included in every battery pack, which is based on lithium ion cells. Without this, I wouldn't recommend even to start using either battery cell or battery pack based on lithium ion cells because it could be very, very dangerous. The quick and easy battery pack based on lithium ion battery cells only needs a three battery cells and a battery holder. That's it. I found in my junk box three battery cells uh, of 18650 model and of quite a high capacity, 3.4 amp hours, and each battery is 3.6 volts. This battery cell has the BMS PCB already included into the battery, right down here in the bottom of the battery. So, because of this, the battery cell itself is a little bit longer than the regular battery cell, lithium ion battery cell, without the BMS PCB included. So, this is important when you choose the battery holder for the battery cells. If you have or if you buy a battery holder like this, which is designed initially for the mounting on the PCB, uh, this longer battery cell simply won't fit like this. You see, this is too long. This type of holder, which is based, which has got contacts based on spring, is good for this type of battery cells because the spring is very flexible and it's very easy to put the cell into a holder. Uh, the goal in making the battery is to connect three battery cells in series, and this is easily done by this holder because all the Internal contacts are already done in this holder. So these two contacts are connected together and these two contacts are connected together. That makes the internal connections for the battery cells in order to become a battery pack. Very easy, like this. Goes very easily here. Plus is here, minus is here. And with this, the opposite, minus is here, plus is here, and here again, minus down, plus is up. That's it. The battery pack is ready made. Now you can only provide it with the connectors of your taste. It shows 12.37 volts. So the battery pack is made, is working and you can connect it to any field gear you wish. I personally use this battery, battery pack uh, to power up my Raspberry Pi computer when I operate with it in the field. My next project, 12 volts, 3.4 amp hours battery pack based on Panasonic 18650 lithium ion cells. You only need six battery holders, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's a very nice and small battery holders made of plastic and they nicely fit onto each cell. What is very nice about these battery holders that they can be connected together by the special joints made in the plastic. So you can choose whatever 
form you wish. I chose to make it horizontal in one line. And then you need the uh, battery managing system, which provided by the PCB. This is the PCB, protection circuit board. The protection circuit board is a must for lithium ion battery packs because it uh, provides uh, safety from deep discharging or from overcharging and also brings the balance while charging equally each of the cells. Now, what is good with these uh, Panasonic cells that they come uh, with the uh, contacts spot welded to the uh, to, to the minus uh, side of the battery cell. In the end, as usual, we test the battery pack, how it works, and it works. 12.47 volts, fully charged battery pack. This is a real powerhouse, 12 volts, 5 amp hours and 20 amps of continuous discharge rating battery pack. Wow! It could make my KX2 QRP transceiver happy for hours running full 10 watts output power. It may supply up to 20 amps of continuous current even for the QRO transceiver, even if for a quite a short time, but I did try to run my IESO FT891 transceiver at the 30 watts level in the FT8 mode for almost one and a half hours with no problems with this small lithium ion battery packs. Again, I needed uh, 12 small plastic square uh, battery holders which are connected with each other in a very smart manner in order to make a battery pack of six uh, separate lithium ion cells. Basically, to imagine better what it's all about, uh, you may imagine that this battery pack is made of three cells as the previous battery pack uh, I showed you, like this one. Just these three cells each is made of two uh, cells connected in parallel. And then these three packs of uh, cells of two are connected in series to make this powerful power bank. I used the uh, special metal strips, which you can buy together with all the batteries and all the all the uh, holders and uh, etc. Uh, into the local electronic shop as I did or you can order it on internet. I did use these metal strips and I did use a powerful soldering iron of 80 watts of power uh, to solder and to make all these necessary connections. What is important as with any lithium ion battery pack and with any lithium ion cell it's very important to use the PCB with the battery pack, protection circuit board, which provides the battery management system for your battery pack. It's not very difficult or it's actually not difficult at all uh, to find out how to connect and where to connect uh, the wires from the battery pack to the PCB module, but it's self-explanatory or you can find it uh, on the internet. And in the end, let's see how's the battery packs working with my Elecraft KX2 transceiver. So at the moment, the transceiver runs off its internal 10.4 volts battery. And now we connect our ready just made battery pack. And voila, it shows 12.1 volt. It's working, it's ready, and it's ready to go. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe or leave your comments. 73. This is Linus, LY2 Hotel.